Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable and delicious sweet potato pumpkin gnocchi. Making pasta from scratch is always a great way to impress, especially when it looks as festive as this little pasta pumpkin patch. It only takes a few ingredients, and I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. I started by making the pasta dough. I washed and dried a sweet potato, then pricked some holes in it with a fork to release steam and keep it from exploding in the microwave. I microwaved this large sweet potato for seven minutes until it was tender, but the timing will depend on the size of your sweet potato and your microwave. Once it was tender, I scooped out the flesh and mashed it with a fork until it was smooth. I also had some leftover pumpkin puree, so I added that to my dough as well. You can use just pumpkin, just sweet potato, or a mixture of both. Next, I added some all-purpose flour to the bowl and mixed with the spatula. I do this entirely by feel and it always comes out great. You don't want to add too much flour to totally dry it out, but you want to add enough flour that it's no longer super sticky like this and coming off on your hands. If you're a measurements kind of cook, I apologize, but it's really gonna depend on whether you're using just pumpkin or just sweet potato or both, the amounts of each and the level of moisture that's happening. But you can just feel it out, I believe in you. I also added some salt and then just kneaded the dough with my hands until everything was well incorporated. Once it's feeling good, I portion out pieces of dough that will become the tiny little pumpkins. You can make these any size you like. I rolled each portion into a round ball. And then it was time for the fun part, which is making them look like little pumpkins. I find it easiest to use the dull side of the blade of a paring knife. I set each dough ball on the counter and rocked the edge of the knife across the diameter of the ball four times to create eight equal sections. Make sure to go over any areas a second time if needed to get super defined lines. Next, I used a toothpick to poke a hole in the center of each pumpkin. Then I stuck a dried rosemary needle into each one to look like a stem. And then my cute little pumpkins were ready to be cooked. I filled a large frying pan with enough water to cover the pumpkins and added some salt. Once the water was boiling, I carefully placed my pumpkins into the water. They only need a few minutes to cook. Once they're floating around in the water, give it about another minute and then carefully remove them from the water. For some reason, the rosemary stems stay in place throughout this entire process. I don't understand how or why, but I appreciate it. You can eat this with whatever sauce you want. A pesto or a cream sauce would be great, but I like to make a simple and delicious butter sauce. I melted a good hunk of salted butter in a pan over medium-low heat. I added some dried rosemary and grated in a few cloves of garlic. Then I put my boiled pumpkins back in the pan to fry them up in this butter sauce and get them a bit golden and crispy. This will only take a couple minutes as well. And then the gnocchi is ready to serve. I spooned some sauce into a dish and placed my little pumpkins right on top. Apart from being adorable and beautiful to look at, this pasta is so comforting and satisfying to eat. Make this for Thanksgiving or a Halloween dinner party and your guests will be so impressed. I hope you give this a try, and if you do, please tag me or send me a DM. I would love to see it. And if you enjoyed my content, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment letting me know what sort of projects you'd like to see in the future. See you later!